all the trucks that are featured in this video are um, just trucks that I have my own opinion on you know everybody has their own opinion once again like I said before they all are good trucks uh, some are better than others some are better in pricing than others some are better in quality than others but if you drive a Ford, a GM, Chevrolet, Dodge, Ram, it doesn't matter. Your truck is your truck, and it's a good truck. So, let's get started. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Suzanne, coming back with another updated video. This video is... Alright, the first stop we're going to hit, hit today is we're going to get some gas. In this thing and one of the things I want to show you guys that I did do for my Titan I got a locking gas cap and I think I ordered it no no I didn't order it I got it off of uh, off of uh, no I got it from AutoZone is where I got it from pretty good locking gas cap this is it right here pretty good cap That's just the thing for me. You see, you can take it off. All right, let's get this gas. Ah, uh, the singing of the fuel pump. By the way, guys, that is uh, normal. It's just a Titan sing. A lot of guys try to get it repaired. It doesn't bother me. Just the Titan sing. Paying a dollar and sixty-one cent at the local shell station. Twenty dollars fifty-two cent, twelve and a little over half a gallon. Not too bad. All right, let's see how much, how many miles we can go. Three hundred sixty-three miles. All right, we're averaging thirteen point one miles a gallon right now in the city um you know you do know that i have the the uh 33 inch tires with the three inch lift on it so my gas mileage went down some but hey i mean you gotta pay to play right all right right here we have the ford flat and we're gonna matter of fact let's stick with the four by four because my truck is a four by four so let's look at the bike here okay you pretty much have the same plate uh, in the back on the tailgate. I think Ford is a little bit more matted, I guess you could say. Uh, we do have the we do have the Rhino liner, which is the same as in the Nissan Platinum, but you do not have the Utila tracks on the side. Nissan gives you the uh, Utila tracks on the side. I see that Ford does have one light back here on each side and Nissan has about I don't know six in the back of the bed you do have your power sliding glass window and let's see they have let's see what size they, they do well the platinum does have the uh, 20 inch wheels so that's a plus and I can't get inside of it but the difference I see you know uh, it basically almost look the same be honest with you only difference is the gear shifter is uh, in the floor center console let's see okay they do have the the chrome tow hitches on the front that's pretty nice. Nice uh, headlights. Headlights are nice. Platinum emblem on the side. I always like that emblem well. And I also have the button. Door locks and unlocks. Now let's look at the price. Alright. This Platinum MSRP is $67,415. And you're pretty much getting pretty much the same thing 
if well you may be getting a little bit more on the titan because like i say those lights that's in the bed utility tracks that's in the bed uh this is leather interior inside um with the Fords, you get a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper to bumper, five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain, five-year, 60,000-mile roadside assistance. Okay. Now, Ford does have a lot of um, a lot of things to help you as far as um, as far as the safety sensors. Uh, they do have. Let me see the rear-view camera reversing sensor. Uh, remote start which the Titan has lane keeping assistance uh, Titan has something uh, similar to that on mine I believe is um, it's called lane assist okay so let's see what else they have intelligent access with push button start for so you know Ford does have a little bit more technology so would you be willing to pay a little bit more for a little bit more technology basically almost the same truck for sixty seven thousand uh dollars hmm that's something to think about once again you know it is a platinum ford f-150 it is the best seller for f-150s so let's move on to the next dealership all right i found the chevrolet high country which is pretty sharp. I'm looking at the exhaust on the back. It's pretty nice. The bed is pretty wide. Rhino liner in the bed. High country. I don't see any. Oh, okay, there are the lights right there. So they have two lights in there in the bed of the truck. Nice little Chevrolet emblem on the side. Uh, they actually have 22 inch wheels on them. That's a plus right there. Uh, let's see chrome handles push button lock and unlock inside is really nice kind of the color of uh, my truck the platinum series I'm not real particular now the center console there if you can see it it looks kind of boring I'm not gonna say cheap it looks boring and hmm, the entertainment system eh, it's okay I mean, it looks kind of simple. Uh, it's got the it's got the lane assist on it. You can see it right there in the mirror. Uh, front end looks nice. I love the front end of these trucks. Looks really good. Got your tow hitches down there at the bottom. It does have the outside flashes here I do like that that's on my truck as well now I will say Chevrolet has really come up on their paint jobs it does it, it does look very very good I know Nissan sometimes their paint can can be kind of crappy but I hadn't had any issue with it yet but you do have the step rails down here the automatic step rails I do like that and let's let's see the sliding glass window in the back and let's look at the price here okay this is not priced too bad okay it's uh 56,500 for this truck 56,500 all right oh i'm sorry i was looking at the wrong price uh it was it's 64,840 right there 64,840 for this truck and it is the luxury edition of uh, four-wheel drive uh let's see they call it the silverado crew high country 2020 and let's see it has forward collision alert good lane uh keep assist good automatic emergency braking excellent front pedestrian braking excellent and telebeam and telebeam auto high beam that's it. hey you know what this thing is equipped with a lot of safety features and i will say hey that would be a better deal as far as pricing when it comes to uh these luxury vehicles 
uh, Chevrolet. That's that's really good. I I like that about you. You have a lot of uh, things in mind to keep the uh, driver safe, to keep people around them safe. That's really really good. So we're gonna say that was sixty four thousand uh, dollars. Mm -mm, you know that's not bad seeing as though it has more features than the uh f-150 had from what i can see uh let's move on to the next dealership which will be the um i believe it'll be a toyota dealership okay guys uh i couldn't find a platinum series out here so i picked the most expensive one which is a four by four it's called the tundra x series and let's start here with the bed you do get the rhino liner uh i see no lights at all back here uh not a glass not a sliding glass window but i think on these uh tundras the whole back window comes down if that is the case that's a plus they got some pretty cool tires on here uh these are 20 inch wheels with the uh the ridge grappler tire which is definitely a plus uh, let's see here. I love the step rails that's on it. Those are nice. Uh, let's look at the inside here. Well, of course, you know, Toyota, they're always going to be the most dependable vehicle out there. But they don't put a whole lot into uh, the interior uh, to make it, you know, pop or whatever. But who cares? It's a Toyota. You know it's going to last forever. It's got the 5.7 liter V8 out force engine in it. The front end, it's got that uh, that nice Toyota front end. I always liked this part of the of the Tundras right there. You know, headlights are nice, but they're kind of plain. All right, you have nothing up here, which again, this is not a platinum series, so you know, no ding for that. But all Toyota trucks come with uh, safety features. And when you look at the price of this one, it is 48689 And, you know, it it's a Toyota. I mean, you're, you're really paying for uh, value. I mean, well, you're paying for um, more quality than uh, anything. So Toyota, that's kind of in between, you know, hey, it's a good truck, dependable truck last you forever so you really can't say too much bad about toyota other than them not having more entertainment in the inside but it's a toyota once again i mean that oversees everything else all right so let's move on and the price is really not that bad forty eight thousand dollars right now is the cheapest that uh i've seen so far once again this is not the platinum but i'm assuming you know the Platinum will probably run you about 50 something thousand, which will probably be uh, cheaper, definitely cheaper than the, the F-150 and the Silverado. And we are here at the Dodge dealership. And I picked this Limited. I'm not sure if this is the top of the line Dodge. I know the Rebel is the, you know, like the top of the line off-road. There's a Rebel right there. So we'll, we'll kind of do both of them. And starting here at the back, I love the dual exhaust Dodge is known for that. You got to have something to push that Hemi. Nice little emblem on the back. And the bed, spray in bed liner. And they do have something similar to Nissan Titans with the Utila tracks. I see uh, two lights back here. Okay. So that's nice. You have the power sliding window, air ride suspension. That's a plus for Dodge. All right, they have these 20 inch wheels on it. Now I'm not real particular about those dual uh, tires, but you know, that's what Dodge uses. So that's not bad. Uh, does have the lock unlock button. If you look at the inside Dodge, <laughs> man, they got everybody beat on the inside. Look at that 12 inch uh, screen they have. I love that console with the sliding uh, doors on it. Limited on the on the console, the armrest there. Beautiful leather seats. I love that. All right, 
the mirrors are kind of similar to uh, the mirrors that's on on my platinum with the little convex mirror right there I love that and on the outside it's pretty similar as well with the flashers on the outside this truck does have the 5.7 uh, liter Hemi in it which is definitely a plus the front end is nice well it's better than it used to be I'm not real particular about it but it's better than it used to be I like it and then you do have your chrome tote it's just right uh, chrome tote bars right there and it's got the limited on the side there I don't really like that that chrome on the side right there but I mean it'll do it's a dodge all right so let's look at the price of this dodge This one here is $58,730, which is not bad. Now, let's see what we can find on safety features here. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, they have the uh, Park View Rear Backup Camera, uh, Park Sense Front and Rear Park Assist with Stop blind spot and cross path detection that's good not as many features as the Toyota Tundra but I mean any kind of safety features work now let's look at this Rebel uh, which is the top of the line uh, off-road package 4x4 love the black tail packs pipes coming out the back you got your camera right there in the back which was on the limited as well so you do have your backup cameras. The bed is kind of similar to the Nissan Titan with this wide lip on it. And of course the same spray and liner with the utility tracks and two lights, sliding glass window in the back. Got the Wrangler good years on here. Man, I love them. The 18s, I love that. All right, let's look at the inside here. Uh, well, don't have the, the 12 inch screen. Of course this is an off-road truck they may have this in a different trim I'm not sure but I like I like it it's pretty nice if I was to buy a Dodge it would be this okay I love the front end eh, that's kind of I don't know I don't really care for all that plastic up front you got the part they got got the sensors in the front the headlights I kind of like them they look kind of sleek or whatever so let's look at the price of this one the hood now they got me on the hood i love the hood that hood is is great all right the price on this one is sixty thousand one twenty five. all right so hmm, dodge is kind of almost in between for what you get but when you go and you look at that a lot of high quality same quality as your competition out there. So, YouTube, this is your boy, and coming back with another updated video.